In 2015, the situation was very, very unique. The industry was producing the most complex and sophisticated products of history, and it did not notice that it failed to address the changing needs of its customers. In the end, what we did is we mapped all of our iPhone experience into this new industry and started to revolutionize it. People didn't call the car anymore car, they called it device. The most successful product we ever launched, and that's 10 years of the Apple's iCar. In my career, I always thought the electric car would be the biggest change, but I was wrong. We did the Apple session because we wanted to show that at this point in time, this presents a threat to the automotive industry. The automated car with a fully functioning mobile app will be much bigger for us in our industry. We may also think that people will move to a different type of car because by sharing we will drastically reduce the ownership cost. Fully automated will fundamentally change the design of the vehicle. You will have flat screens all over the place and the moment you go in and your telephone connects to the car, everything will be customized for you. Do not underestimate the incredible speed with which the mobility revolution is taking place. Every business model is ripe for disruption. We will have to move from producing cars and selling cars into resolving customers' issues about mobility. You can sell uh, 10,000 kilometers with a sedan, uh, 2,000 with a cabrio, and 1,000 with a motorcycle. Uh, a customer may take the train. When he arrives at his station, he could, through his application, book a vehicle to do the last two, three, four miles. And then I pay a bill of 800 euros per month. I have everything. The intermodality. When we can all make cars and they become commodities, how can we stand out? The functionality of the software, the community that you join, what you do while you're in the vehicle are all infinite possibilities to differentiate the brand. Maybe our customer base will change, uh, maybe we'll be selling more fleets. With the electric cars, we had an expectation five years ago, and today the expectation is totally different. I think as long as there is personal transportation, there are going to be dealers. Autonomous cars will also be a change that uh, have to be performed step by step. The industry meetings that we have at IESE Business School are dedicated to help define the future. The idea was to improve the educational level of the people involved in the automotive sector. An event where we could bring the CEO of companies. The tier suppliers, second tier suppliers, manufacturers, OEMs and uh, kind of explore uh, through their contributions what the future of the industry could be.